this video, I'm going to show you how to make a login system. Um, I'm using this uh, mock of a fitness app um, for our example. And uh, this is going to be using Swift 5. Um, later in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some uh, um, using Swift UI with the uh, latest Xcode. But um, this version of Xcode is uh, the latest one that's not a beta as of now, um, mid-August um, 2019. Um, where uh, I, I believe it's version uh, 10. Let's uh, just confirm that. Yeah, 10.3. Um, I do have the beta one, been playing around with it, uh, and I'll do some tutorials on that. But that's going to be released next month, so that'll be more appropriate then. Um, so this uh, app is, um, as you saw, it's going to we're going to make um, some custom um, text fields, and you'll be able to you know type in here uh, a username and password and hit that and get confirmation, get a little um, welcome. Um, and have an image display, so I'll, I'll show you that. And then I'm also going to show you how you can tie this into a database so that you can um, actually have a legit um, login system that will check against data in the system already. Um, all right, so to get started, um, you're going to just create a new project, right? And that project is going to be um, a single view project. Just hit next there. Um, I've already done this, that's why I'm just showing you screenshots. Um, and then, uh, you know, give your, I just call this Swift 5 login system. Um, I'm going to have you check core data because I am going to use a database system um, later on in uh, successive videos. Um, and uh, then, you know, just save it somewhere that you are comfortable with that you know you'll be able to find. Um, and then hit create and you should uh, come up to something that looks like this, right? And we're going to, uh, just today, I'm just gonna get you some, uh, a text field on the screen. So let me kind of show you what that would look like. Um, just right here after your your class, I'm not gonna use the storyboard at all. We're, we're doing this programmatically. It gives you the better control over everything that shows on the screen. Um, so we're gonna create a variable called my username. That's gonna be our text field for our username. Um, and the way you do that is you e equals UI text field, and then you create a frame with a, this CG rec that's gonna be kind of define your rectangle on the, on the screen. And we're gonna start over 10 on the x-axis and down 320, because I'm gonna allow room to have an image eventually at the top. That's gonna be kind of our header. Um, then we'll go 300 for width, which kind of a standard size of a, a text field. 30 for height, you can change these if you don't like that. Um, and then in our view did load, remember the view did loads the part of your code that gets called when your app loads. We're actually, um, we're gonna create a method. Everything's gonna run from different methods in here. Um, and so we're gonna just call display login fields. Um, that method doesn't exist yet, but I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna create that. So remember, um, to create a method, you want to get outside of your view did load, but inside your class. And I'm going to, I'm pasting in a lot of code here, but I'll go slow here. So your method's called func, short for function, display login fields, open close parentheses. I will share all this code with you, so no worries there. Um, and then you're going to say the name, you're referring to your um, variable that we created, and you're going to say dot placeholder equals, and this could be whatever you want. In this instance, it makes sense to um, say the uh, what you want your user to input, which is gonna be our, their username. And the cool thing about a placeholder, as soon as they put their cursor in that field, the placeholder text goes away, which is super useful. Um, and then we have this border style, uh, which I like, and um, there's some built-in options for this, but you can do UI text field dot border style line that puts like a nice little line around it. And um, then you can choose the background by default. I think the background is gray in a text box. I'm going to make it white because I think that goes well with the border style. And then you can choose what color you want the text to appear. I'm going to go blue. 
Um, and then you have to do this add to the view or it will not appear. Oh, I forgot my close bracket here. All right? And so now if I, I hit play here, uh, we should get a just one text box on the screen that has a placeholder. Um, says username. And there it is. And see there's the black borderline going around it. Um, so when I start typing here, see that goes away. Um, and our, we have the blue text, which I think looks nice. Um, so that's nice. And so let's let's add another one though for our password that we want our user to um, uh, insert, right? And so I'm going to do many of the same things, but with a couple couple options that are a little different. And so I have. Um, um, oh, I forgot. I need to at uh, top. I need to create my. Um, password my password um, it's giving me all kinds of errors because this number how I created that variable up top here I'm gonna create one called my password uh, and I'm gonna situate that almost the same exact place just down um, 40 pixels below it um, so that it will appear right under it and so here we go so my I'm gonna have my placeholder will say password um, this is important um, the you can do this is secure text entry and make that true and that will allow it to have the asterisk take um, will replace any text that you put in that is typical for a um, text field this is if you want it to, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's not even appropriate for this um, then we have the border style um, just like before a background just like we had for the username and our um, text color is blue as well. And then you gotta make sure you add it to your sub view. And now let's just take a look at what that, what that does. And the important difference here is the, the is secure text entry being equal to true. Um, we didn't have that for this. So this again, works the same. I can just put some username and then here I'm put password and see they start to get replaced with those little dots. Um, yeah, which is typical for a password um, field. And that's all because of this line right here. All right, that's it. Like, so next video, I'm gonna show you how to make a button and hit submit and have this uh, information that was entered here be actually saved and, and do something with it. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you watch the next video. Thanks.